Hello friends, hope you are doing fine. In today's session, we are going to see that how to migrate MS SQL Server data to Oracle database using uh, Oracle SQL Developer. So, I have uh, I have MS SQL Server 2018 installed, and we have a set of database here, and uh, we will be migrating this database to Oracle database. Okay, so we are using SQL Developer 4.2.16. Okay, and uh, using JDK 1.8 version and for first we will see how to connect to MS SQL Server using SQL Developer. So for this you need a third party jar file. We will go to tools, preference, third party JDBC driver and we have here say JTDS 1.3.1.jar. Okay, so if you go to SourceForge, okay, so in your SourceForge you will find this is the, this is the link for this. Okay, you can also search for like JTDS JDBC driver. Okay, this uh, this JTDS driver is for SQL Server and as well as Cygres. So when you will add this third party uh, third party driver, and if you create new connection, you will find two tab as SQL Server and Cygres. So I'll be using SQL Server, and my connection informations are uh, I'll give a name like MS SQL. 2008 username SA password SA and hostname localhost port is 11499 test this success save it save password yes correct now we will uh, expand this and we can see all the database came here so I'll be exporting this database so I'll select this one and right click and migrate to Oracle let me I'm a bit little fast here right click migrate to Oracle okay next connection select a connection for the migration repository check truncate to reset the repository to empty state I'll truncate it not required next Oh, uh, you have to give the uh, project name. Project is a container for the migration. It is all script will be saved to the output directory. Choose documents. Next. Source online. So choose the third party service from which you are migrating. Okay. next i have selected this you can also uh, i mean you can migrate multiple data database uh, selected a single one next specify the conversion option okay so see this is the source data type and this is the target data type okay so see there is a like a date time to you can also change this okay like the date time to date date time to to worker we are not going to change anything here okay that depends on the kind of things like images converted to blob below okay and n carry to n care in text is in silo okay it's a different kind of text so text is a big one so it is migrated to converted to character loop where binary to raw and okay available SQL object all constraint all functions all procedures all triggers all views okay everything will be there it's default selected you can also unselect choose the target connection to generate the run and run the database migration script this script will also generate the project library output. so this is for running script not that it will be migrated in this schema okay next if you select a drop target object then this object will be dropped okay i don't want to do this next 
connection to be used online for online data move okay next and finish you can also leave it and run it in background so it will it might take a little bit of time so depending on the size of the database okay amount of data uh, amount of data uh, that contains in the source database so I will put a pause here and come back after the migration is complete. Migration actions completed successfully. Okay. So now uh, we are wondering that what exactly is the username and password. The username is obviously same okay the as a database and for, for your kind information password is also the same so we take it say export db say ms sql db Password is same. Test connect. Okay, so these are the tables. Let's open this one, this one. Okay, so let us go to uh, like uh, do one thing. Let us go to the SQL server. Okay, open this tables. See, you will find all the same tables here. Okay, so there are a few tables, extra tables migrated, like uh, DT, there's some DTP properties. I'm not sure exactly what is this. There are not even any data is there. It is a blank table. Some kind of dummy table is this. So what I'm, what is the conclusion? Conclusion is that this is for SQL Server. So conclusion is that you can use any third-party external, uh, third-party JDBC driver and connect to. Like uh, I'll come up with the next tutorial, exporting data from DB2, IBM DB2, exporting data from any other kind of database like um, MySQL, okay, MySQL to Oracle. So this is uh, the session for migrating data from SQL, MS SQL Server to Oracle. So that's uh, all about this tutorial. If you have any questions, please do comment on my section. Okay, you can also subscribe to my channel for further videos. And please do a like, uh, press a like button if you like this video. Thank you very much.